Alrighty then. Uh, let's see. So we've got the we got the corrupted zone over here. Yeah, yeah. Straight ahead. Let's go. Actually, deal with some corruption. Hello. Are these just grazers? These are just grazers, and they're not particularly interesting to me. <laughs> yeah. As usual, playing any game, we're having a spoiler problem, especially a new game. But yeah, how are people spoiling a game that came out yesterday? People are assholes and will spoil anything if they get the chance. Those machines. You can see the corruption coming off them like smoke. Time to clear them out. I'm gonna hang out. Let's see if I can stealth kill this one. Put you down easy. So you can, in fact, stealth kill them. Good stuff. Okay. So their shoulders and their butts. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But that's fine. We didn't really need this one to work. Oh, that's cool. Be nice if I could boost my focus timer. Well, there we go. Well, that was really easy. I've done what I can to cleanse this valley of corruption. Uh, okay. Oh, is that this poison? Seems almost to eat away at metal. Maybe that's what drives the machines mad. Okay. Find a way to use it sometime. Turkey! I'm hearing, like, boars and stuff, so I should probably go out of my way for that. Alright, let's go back to the deer. It's gotta be one of these that I didn't loot, yeah? Yeah, there it is. Okay. I yeah, might as well pick up as many as I can. Or, as much loot. I could have just stealth killed them, but honestly, at this point, uh, we're actually in kind of a post, uh, post experience era here. Like, I literally don't need experience right now. I've got the, I've got everything that I could possibly want. Ish. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of other bonuses. But still, okay, so we're looking for pigs. Fortunately, it looks like it's just. It looks like it's mostly just, uh, grazers around. Is that the only grazer? Might be. Well, that makes this a lot easier. Yeah, as long as you approach from behind, they go down. Oh, there are, there are more grazers. Okay. Well, they don't move off often, and they don't look behind them. Thank you, Silent Sprint. You are kind of the best. I wonder if I can actually do that to, uh, take these guys over at some point. That's an interesting question. Alright. Well, we got that. I've leveled up. Where were we going? Ah, we're going up here. Uh, here-ish? How many sticks do I have? Sticks and stones, I have a ton of them. Oh yeah, we could always just sell a bunch of the crap that we have collected. That'd work too. Okay, so let's um... Able to override. Might be over override one of these. Nope! Can't override these guys yet. Now the last time we tried uh, luring these guys in, it backfired pretty bad. It's because they're tall, I think. I think that's the case. Let's get the Watchers. Yeah, we want to lure in as many of them as possible. The uh, the more metal shards and whatnot we can get, the better. Uh, let's see, is there anything I'm low on? I might as well make some more of those. Coming? He's coming on, slow. Yeah, I can also override the, uh, the Watchers, but... Let's see. Oh, there's the other one. 
Yeah. Oh, we get like a machine scavenger box. Awesome. So not only do we get materials, but we get more materials. He was touching us. Shut down. What about the other one? Totally unaware of her presence. I wonder how how fast you can just sprint up to these guys. Like, could I just approach him from the front? I'm also really curious about if I stack, like, a crap ton of, um... Like, if I could stack a crap ton of stealth on a... Oh! Oh, okay, I thought for a second it was yellow, and I was like, I don't think I've ever seen a, a yellow loot from one of these. Um, But, like, if I stacked a ton of stealth on my character, could I just, like, sprint up to enemies and, like, say hi to them that way? Have I overrided a Watcher before? Yeah, I have. It didn't really seem to do anything. It was just like, all right, you have a Watcher now. They probably helped me with fighting uh, more than anything else, but that's not really what I'm looking for. Because I fight alone. Mainly because I, I, I really enjoy the combat in this game. It's so satisfying that the idea of like working with anybody else, bot or otherwise, just seems kind of moot to me. Oh, hey, we got some uh, crab knots up ahead. So I'll see if I can snipe off the uh, the back. Because apparently you got to do that to be able to get the goodies in their shell. I mean, it makes sense. It's Monster Hunter logic. Oh god, I'd love to play like a Monster Hunter game made by these people. Holy crap, that would be amazing. <laughs> Scrabbling a bit. So we got some watchers. Okay, so we got friends. Okay, so let's... Ow. Barely damage. Let's run away. Let's see if I can hit you. Okay, your problem, maybe? I wonder if I can just engage Captain Crab Hands in melee. Wow, that was way faster. Yeah, just rush them. Snipe off the butt and rush the crap out of them. They go down in a second. That was satisfying. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so we get a bunch of echo shells. Dead Watcher. Okay, uh, so the place we're looking for is up ahead. So the question is, what are we looking at? Looks like it's mostly just Watchers. Let's take out the most dangerous one first. Not actually the one I was meaning to go this direction, but still. Okay, come on. Come on, Slowski. Yeah, so we've got two scrappers, three watchers, two scrapper. Oh, yeah, it's something like that. It's a decent amount. This must be the part that the drone was talking about. I'm excited. There's gotta be a way in somehow. This looks fun. Okay, so let's. Next one. God, this lure move is amazing. It's always been like, I mean, it's just solid. Doop. What if I could actually override one of these guys and just have it help me out here? That could work. Not that it's that that important, but still. Okay, do we have anybody? <laughs> I love it how like everybody in this world, for the most part, is just um. Everybody in this world is just like. Completely ineffective at fighting, and we're just like ultra uber badass because our dad 
I had a cool beard. To be fair, our dad did have a really cool beard. Nice. Normally I just stab the crap out of things. Sometimes it's really satisfying to hit them in the face though. Okay, so let's do But how to open it. Ooh, this looks cool. Okay, how do we hold the override? All right, so I th the other game that I haven't really compared this game to is ReCore. This game and ReCore feel really similar. Except for this game's good, and ReCore was good for like two hours, and then you realized ReCore wasn't good. But like, this is such a ReCore-looking dungeon. But there's no way, there's no way that ReCore can even touch this. Holy crap, this looks cool. Let's look around for a second. Let's see if there's anything particularly interesting. Oh, we got some kind of goodie over here. Supply crate. It's got goodies. I like the fact that it gives me these purple trails. I wish uh, the controller, uh, the stick was a little bit more sensitive as we were panning around there. The metal, the light. It's like this entire place is part of some huge machine. But who made it? Reminds me actually of a Destiny uh, location. Now that I'm thinking about it, cooler though. God, this is re this is really cool environment design. That thing looks like a triangular pipe. What's it for? That might give me some cover if I need it. So do we have we have a watcher? We actually have several watchers. Boop. Not that I'm terribly worried about watchers, honestly. Okay. So let's just keep scooting through. So I've got... I guess we might as well mark the watchers. We've got a couple of vents. What is that? That's... Vaguely sinister looking. Those things are moving components around. I wonder where. I probably could have gone to the other vent now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, Destiny represent. I really hope Destiny 2 comes out this year and is not crap. I mean, honestly, if they just have like a whole extra campaign for Destiny 2, I'd be okay with that. Oh. Grey Omen. Oh, it's a healing item. Okay. Ooga booga. I like how it just like turns around and it's just like, oh, what's going on? Death. Sneak attacks are so satisfying. Normally in games, I'm just like, uh, stealth. In this game, I'm like, yeah, stealth. Feels good. All right, is there anything else around here? Not really. We could see if we could take some of those components, but I think they've stopped moving, so I couldn't like. Ooh. Okay. Get that up there. Anything this direction? Yep. Is that a rat? Tiny meat. Actually gotta keep an eye out for any rats around here. We need rat bones? Rat bones or rat skin for some kind of pouch. Which is a bit of a nuisance because... Like, where the crap am I gonna find enough rats? In this game. They're not super common on the outside. Okay. Well, not seeing anything around here. Oh, because it's a ladder. Anything here? Nope. Well, ladder it is. Oh, uh, this is pretty looking. Let's see. So we've got... What is this? Oh, vents and stuff like that. That... Might be a little bit more on the scary side. What's this? Network uplink. 
Okay. What else we got around here? So those are the vents that we came through. She gets out of breath really fast. For somebody that does this constantly. That thing near the gap. What does it do? Ugh. Very helpful. Oh. That's unnerving looking. I gotta say though, it looks cool. Unnerving cool. Anything around here necessarily? Loot cache. Not that it's that important, but still. Okay. Uh, let's see, what do we got around here? We've got a lot of these mushrooms for healing. But I'm not hurt. Haven't been hurt. Once we start fighting the bigger critters, it's probably gonna get a little bit rougher. But right now, we're kind of in this, like, weird beauty situation where, like, nothing can really hurt us. This, this, uh, pre-order armor is maybe a little bit on the extremely broken side of things. It's made playing through this game rather, uh, rather convenient. I don't know. Easy? Convenient? Something. Maybe a bit too easy. It looks like those flying machines move components around. Might be able to take me somewhere. I'm also really curious how deep this place goes. Well, I guess we climb aboard next. Okay, do we... There we go. Might regret this. So it's true. Machines are built in these places. But why? And by who? That's the heart of it all. It's gotta be. So how do I get inside? Um... Am I supposed to, like, jump, or...? I'm really confused. Oh shit, there's, uh... There's a lot of things g going around through here. Maybe it's gonna drop me off down here. As far as this thing will take me. Okay. So what do we got around here? We got some stuff up high. We got a lot of stuff down low. So that wasn't. Now we're in the dungeon. Oh. oh. Turns out I can go down here. That's interesting. Aha! I can climb, or something. Yeah, this place is way larger than I was expecting. Oh, I took falling damage. Of course I took falling damage. Alright, let's, uh... Let's mark everything we can, just so I'm not surprised in the future. Anything else around here? Nope. Wait. There's like a cache up there. Oh, I see. This is how we get back up. All right. Well, we might as well go up for a second. So how do we get up there? Like this, maybe? Oh. Okay. Aha. So actually, we got it right originally. We weren't supposed to get over here. But it's good enough, but yeah, there's a, uh... There's some of this stuff over here. Apparently, um... These dungeons might be randomized according to someone. Which is kind of neat, but also kind of unfortunate, because this game has really good level design. And... It's a bit of a shame. Let's see, are you gonna come? No, he ain't gonna come. Wasn't there like one more of these guys around here? Yeah? No? Oh. Yeah, personally I like my levels fairly well designed, so this has already been hacked open. Uh, 
Okay. So we have friend. Now, I'm digging I'm digging crab bots. I wanna fight me one of those. Just gotta make it worth it. I wonder if I can do that. Ah. If I found out more about these machines, I could learn to override them. Well. Well, I fucked up. Here we go again. Let's see what I can do. So we made friends. Wow, we've made a lot of friends. Let's see if we can lose friends. Oh god. I didn't know they could do lightning shot. Yeah, we want to snipe off his backpack. Okay. Let's well, summon that guy over. Not gonna be an easy thing to do. Okay, I guess we'll summon this one for the time being. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, let's uh, let's thin the herd a little bit. I'm gonna have to fight the crab monster. Let's see, you can learn how to override them. Yeah, you can learn how to override things by... Um, by clearing cauldrons, actually. So doing exactly what I'm currently doing. Are you coming, or...? Well, this is a small and constant inconvenience. Here they come. Okay, so yeah, we got a lot of these guys rolling around. It's kind of massively inconvenient because we've also got crab machine. We got Crab Machine over there, that I also want to fight. It's gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay. Come on. Come on. I just want to hurt you. I could also, like, uh... I could also, like, hack some of them. Come on. I'm right here. I don't know how, how this guy managed to sneak up on me. Not that it matters. My fog will devour your wreckages. Okay, so what else we got? A lot of these suckers all over the place. Okay, that didn't work. Didn't alert the rest of them, though. Crab machine's getting away from me. Let's see, do we have any of the other ones coming in? That no, doesn't look like it. We got him up above. Oh. This is crab machine's path. What was that? They're scanning for me. Okay, you hurt. A little bit less, though. Let's see. Can I just smack him around a bit? It's like he doesn't really realize that I'm just wailing on his butt. So I have to be a little bit careful here, but honestly, no biggie. Idly totally. Oh. Didn't kill that one. Alright. Eh. <laughs> Ow! What? 
No tail whips. Tail whips are for chumps. Okay, we're good. All right, so we got we got crab meat's uh, backpack. Let's see if that's any good. Okay, anything else particularly useful around here? A little bit more scrap. Oh, looks like I might be uh, I might be holding people back. Let's see. I've been waiting for Bird to do his business, but his business might be over. Let's check around quick. Be nice if we're done, but I'm betting these are a little bit longer than I'm giving the credit for. Can I check them? Oh, good. This might not be very fast. It does look totally procedurally generated here. Okay. Yeah, go to the cauldron core. Well, it says it's right up there. I somehow don't believe it. Unless I'm just supposed to walk there. Maybe I am. Because past a certain point, we're not supposed to get through there. Okay, well, we might as well grab some more of this. Heal up the rest of the way. I burned through a couple of potions here and there, but hardly an issue. And yeah, maybe getting to the cauldron core is a little bit easier than I've been making it out to be. Oh. Or did I already loot this? Ah, crap, I already looted that. So maybe this is shorter than I thought it would be, just kind of a small challenge area. And then we get over here. I'm gonna wait a bit, or no, 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 no. This is just the next section of the path. Might be a different cauldron. Could be. So we got loot a plenty. A little bit more of you. This is giving me the proper path now. Maybe? I'm just curious to see if there are any more enemies that we're going to have to deal with here. Haven't seen any, so... I'd say that's encouraging. But I don't know if that's the case. Oh, I see. There we go. For a second, I, I almost just scooted down. That would have been bad. Okay. How close are we to this core? Because I'd like to finish this dungeon before I stop. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Not quite. Race against time or something. Or is this it? This looks pretty close to the end. Is this it? Nope, supply cache. I don't see any critters. Maybe just a mini boss? Feels like it's tossing HP at me like crazy. No enemies. Which is usually not a good sign. Ah. Up, yep, burp, yep. How do we get back up? Okay, we get over here. Come on. Really? Am I supposed to go back the way we came, or what exactly? Did I already loot this guy? I might have missed this one coming in. Nope. Did not loot it. Okay. So let's see, nothing to do here, so everything to do with these hand-holdy bits. Okay. Are you the core? No, of course you're not the core. This is, this is the core. Oh, hey, I've got over a thousand metal, metal bits. This is how machines are made. Cauldron core. Flight. Fire blowback. There are signals coming from all over the place. Huh. Good. Sends, sends back. Repel down. This is probably going to be a problem. Maybe. So I can't use stealth here.
Now, do I climb these? Oh. Damn. Well, we've got watchers. Is it just watchers? Okay. Well, that was cool. Not usually that accurate. Is that all the watchers in here? I think it is. I just want to see if we can get any uh, stealth vents or anything like that. We got a couple things all over the place. Uh, let's see. Uh, is that another goodie? No, this is uh, something else. It's just a glowy. It's not even a goodie. It's just a glowy. Do we have anything else hanging around around here? So we got the cauldron core. So how do we get up there? Oh. No. This doesn't look climbable. Okay, so there's got to be some way up. Um. Let's see. So we got a discharge pylon. May provide access to the central processor. Tag target. What's this? Okay, cauldron core. Central core for the facility. Oh, we can just climb up. It's just lightning-y. But maybe it's not gonna zap me? Okay, it's not gonna zap me. So all we have to do is override this. And then solves the problem. Okay. It... That machine's not gonna let me tinker with this stuff. All right, so we've got napalm. I'm gonna run. We need some distance here. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to toasty roasty him. So let's give it some space. Uh, let's figure out what I'm gonna do here. Honestly, let's kill the watchers. Never mind. Let's start hitting this sucker. What are we doing? Where are we going? Okay, that is my favorite camera angle. Straight into the nonsense. Alright, let's just pop this. Yeah, the sooner we kill those watchers, the uh, easier this is going to get. Did I get him? Got him. Alright. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Ah, of a sort. Uh, let's see if I can hit him in the eyes. Can't. Nope. Still got me. You suck. And unfortunately, I think this is one of the special variety. Makes this a bit harder. Alright, let's put some distance. Actually, you know what? No. Let's put him on ice. Okay, there we go. Unfortunately, I might be out of arrows. Momentarily. Okay. Uh, let's just make as many. Probably should have loaded up on more. Okay. Frosty the snow bellows. Well, that hurt. Didn't work nearly as well as I thought, and apparently... Okay, cool. You can stack elemental effects. Well, no reason why not to do both. Alright, he's down. Ow. Well, that was a good time to hit the potions. Are you just... You're just straight up burning. Screw it. Well, you know what? I'm gonna hit you with the spear. 
Or he already died. I'm not entirely sure. That was harsh. Alright, well, we got the core, so I guess let's check it out. I do wish you could, like, shoot legs off in this game. That'd be amazing. Information about different machines. This will help me override them. All right. Skill points. Healy stuff. Anything else useful? Sigma overrides available. Man, I wish it would actually tell me which ones those were. Oh, Sawtooth, Scrapper, Grazer, Lancehorn. Neat. I right, guess we get out, out this direction. Yeah, that was, that was fun. I think the only thing I didn't like about that, uh... That fight was just the fact that, uh, it was too easy to get stuck on. Crap. 